Hey everyone, welcome back to the Shepherd Fit channel. We are in the garage again here today for the first modification to the V-Rod. That's right. I know you can't really see it because I know it's being blown way out of proportion, but this halogen headlight has got to go. It is yellow. It doesn't match our Rogue Rider Industries turn signals, which my dad had put on. So we just needed to kind of get this changed up. So what are we going to put on there? A Hogwarts LED headlight. So I haven't even opened this thing out of the box yet. I don't even know how to even get into this. So that's why we're going to just kind of take it step by step. We'll do a little before and after comparison in the dark and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get into it. Roll it. The first thing we'll need to do is to get this chrome visor off. It is being held on by four Allen keyed screws. This one up here is a six, and down below here on the side are fours. Before you begin though, you should always put some sort of cover over your front fender to avoid any damage. I decided to take off the two bolts holding on the visor first. This will allow the entire headlight assembly to come free. Now you'll have full access to the side bolts and then you can fully remove the headlight from the assembly. You could probably have done this a different way, but I like to get the entire thing out as there's quite a bit of wiring behind it. Once all the bolts are removed, the chrome visor should disconnect from the headlight. Keywords should. Set aside the visor assembly and then we're going to disconnect the headlight from the harness. One thing that I did learn while doing this is to keep these straight as there is one for a high beam and one for a low beam. Let's just say I got my wires crossed when doing so. Here's the Hogwarts LED. I decided to go ahead and leave the clear packaging on for the time being. Also you can see here they do clearly label high beam and low beam. From this shot here you can definitely see I do not have any clue which one is which. So I fiddled with them multiple times until I made sure they finally worked correctly. When you have them oriented correctly, you will hear a distinct click sound to let you know that they are secure and are fully engaged into the socket. Once you have the clips in place, go ahead and give the light a good test. Make sure to test out both the high beam and the low beam while the assembly is still free. This will allow you to go back and recross the plugs in case you did mix them up like I did. As you can see here, both high beam and low beams are working. Here the headlight has already been reconnected to the visor and we are putting the visor itself back onto the V-Rod. Again, the top bolts are six and the sides are four. One thing to point out is that Hogwarts does provide different length screws than what comes stock. As you can see here, the headlight is moving up and down. That should not be the case if it's fully tightened. So you will definitely want to make sure you use the provided hardware. Once you have everything bolted up, you can go and remove the protective film off of the headlight. Go ahead and get a couple more cranks and you'll be good to go. Lastly, I decided to give it one final test just to make sure everything was working correctly. Again, you want to check both your high beams and your low beams. Here's a video that I took before I did the installation that shows just how yellow and dingy that stock headlight truly was. And here is bright LED. This thing shines super bright. As you can see here, I probably had it adjusted a little high, which I have since remedied. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. This is uh, not sweat, I guarantee you. It wasn't that difficult of an install. I actually had to uh, go retrieve a bird who uh, kamikaze into a uh, sliding glass door, and it's raining. So that's the look that you get here at the end. 
Uh, as far as the install, really nice and smooth. Just make sure you line up your high with your high, your low with your low. And they do have to go in a certain way on those plugs. They, there is an up and a down side of doing it, I found out. Um, the other thing is, uh, Hogwarts does include some new screws for the bottom bolts. Make sure you use those, otherwise your headlight will just continue to rock back and forth. But overall, anyone can do this install. All you needed again was a six and a four Allen key, and that is it. Super, super simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was in focus enough. I tried some new 4K stuff. You know how that works sometimes, how you're trying to do something and it just doesn't work out. So if it's not completely out of focus, you didn't even see this video, but if it's good enough, then I hey, hope you enjoyed it. So that being said, I will catch you guys on the next Dark Side as this is the way. Sharp Fett, seeing you on the next one. Later!